Hello, everybody. This is my uh, another video that I'm posting, and I lied. I'm not talking about the Astros cheating scam, but I'm going to do something different today. So, you know, the biggest free agent that has not been signed yet is y Yasiel Puig. He's a pretty good right fielder, played on the Dodgers, uh, Reds, and Indians. Forgot that. Sorry about that. But I'm going to be doing a video on the uh, five, my predictions of where Yasiel Puig is going to sign. So I got, so I have five teams. I'm going to rank them five to one. While I'm thinking Yasiel Puig is going to sign. Okay, for number five, I have the Cleveland Indians. The guy who they traded for, for Trevor Bauer. So at the time, Yasiel Puig was on the Reds. Wasn't doing good, so they traded him to the Indians for Trevor Bauer, which was a pretty good uh, play if the Indians were trying to go for a postseason run. Fortunately, they didn't make it there. And they need outfield help. So my prediction is for the number five spot, Yasiel Puig will be re-signing with the Cleveland Indians. Oh, sorry, guys. Okay, so for number four, I'm thinking the St. Louis Cardinals, and here's why. So, again, they're going for a World Series push. They're, they won the division in 2019. Of course they did. But their right fielder is Dexter Flower. Flower. He's actually pretty good. He did pretty good at the second half. But I think if they need to make that postseason push, well, not postseason, but World Series push, they need to get Yasiel Pui because this would be their team. Uh, Paul Goldschmidt at first, Colton Wong at second, Paul DeYoung and Tommy Edmond at third, Tommy Edmond and Paul DeYoung at short, Tyler O'Neill. even though if they do sign Puig and they want to keep Dexter Flower, you could always throw Puig at left, Harrison Bader, so he's great, very fast, and Dexter Flower on the right. So they need some outfield help because they got rid of, sadly, Marcel Zuna, so I think the perfect guy would be to sign Yasiel Puig. So for number three, I'm thinking of the, the Texas Rangers. New ballpark, new right fielder. They got rid of their star right fielder, Nomar Rosara, to the um, White Sox. So I think thinking them signing out would be, be a great move. Now, I know they're not trying to make a push for anything. So if they want to push in the next year, sign Yasiel Puig to like a five, six year deal, that would be amazing. Because obviously El Puig is a great player. So I think he would be perfect in the new Texas ball ballpark. Okay, for my number two spot, I'm saying the Chicago Cubs. And I'm saying that they got Jason Hayward and Wright. Lots of lots of lots of money. They signed him to a huge deal with Jason Hayward. Not worth it at all. I'm telling you that. Not worth it. If they sign Yasiel Puig, put him in right. Where are they going to play Jason uh, Hayward? Well, the, this might not happen, but they could possibly trade him, but that contract's way too big. So I'm saying maybe try to trade him. Try to. But then if you do, sign Yasiel Puig. Because, again, great power, power hitter. Can in right field. So if he signs... With the Cubs. The Cubs, I think, can actually make it to the postseason. Because you know what happened in 2016. Won the World Series. 2017, made it to the postseason. 2018, made it to the postseason again. 2019. They kind of fell, fell off because, like, they're pitching staff. And they're, like, very poor. So, if you... So, first step is try to trade Jason Hayward. Then sign Yasiel Pui. And then, I'm about to tell you. My number one team where I think Yasiel Puig is going to sign. Okay. The team that I'm thinking that will sign Yasiel Puig is the San Diego Padres. You know why? Again, looking to make the postseason. They made great moves by getting Jackson Pro for well, Tommy Pham, Trent Grishop. But right now, they have Will Myers in right fielder, who's not a primary right fielder. He's a left fielder. 
So I'm thinking that that would be the perfect spot for Yasiel for to go. And no West. He knows about the West, played for the Dodgers and everything. But that's not going to make like a huge difference. I'm just saying that. But the reason why I'm thinking he was signed to the Padres because they've been making a bunch of moves. A bunch of moves. So I'm thinking if they want to finish it off, try to trade Will Myers again. Try to trade. And all that money that you freed up, sign Yasiel Pui. Okay? Padres, can you do it? Okay. Now, I'm about, this is going to be like the long part of the video again. My opinions of if the Padres do sign them and like all the other teams. Okay. So, first, first thing first, Cleveland. The reason why I put them on the weaker spot, because I don't think they're really going to send their only reason why they really got them. They wanted to get rid of Trevor Bauer, so they would just like give us somebody and they got Puig. Fourth team I put uh, was the, um, I don't remember. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't kill me. Okay. But no, we're just going to skip right to the Padres, okay? Reason why, another reason why I'm thinking Padres is because they're in like a budget territory. So they're probably going to have Josh Naylor at first base. Great prospect, great player all around. Eric Hosmer and Will Myers. Pat package deal for a really good prospect would be amazing inside Yasiel Puig. Okay? So that's what I'm thinking that the Padres are gonna do. Okay. So guys, that's gonna be the end of the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoy and peace out.